this opportunity, uh, since it's still early in 2019, to bring up a whole new host of stories. So we wanted to give you fresh blood, um, and you're going to hear from four of them tonight. I also really want to quickly, though, before we get into our portion, introduce you to all of our partners and let them tell you what they do. Because if you're here for one thing, likelihood is you're going to have a connection to something else. So the first I'd like to introduce you to is kind of our secret brain trust. Give it up for Shia. <laughs> manager for Vets Community Connections and what we do is pretty much what our name does is we connect veterans, military, and their spouses to the community. And we don't do that on a social services level, we do that on a community networking information level. So that's businesses for discounts um, and it's not just active duty, it's spouses, it's um, veterans, it's veteran spouses which is pretty rare around here. Because, you know, if you offer that to everybody, you're pretty much offering it to, like, 60% of the community in San Diego. But, um, but we get people to do it because they do want to give back. They want to do more than say thanks for your service, and that's what they can do. And where we're really unique is that we um, bring in individuals, San Diegans, that do and don't do have military, do and do not have military affiliation so that they can give back to. So not everybody's got a bunch of money, not everybody's got a bunch of hours, but they've got knowledge. They've got local livable personal knowledge that they can share so you can call us about long distance hiking about beer places places to live stuff for your kids to do um, soccer clubs knitting um, really whatever it is that there is to offer in San Diego if you don't know somebody and you have an interest you can call us and we will connect you with an individual to have a conversation so I call it the grocery store conversation that's too awkward to have because that's weird sometimes but you can call us and have that and every person in our database has said I want to give back by sharing what I know and bridging the gap between our so our civilian military divide right some of us feel it some of us don't but we were told it's there and so we, we try and um, bridge that divide and that's what we do and so our portion within this is obviously we don't do arts but we bring arts organizations together and give you all an easy avenue to get to those. So, and our table's in there, and come see us. <laughs> and Shia really is the smart person in the dark who like organizes all of us when we're running around herding cats. Um, the lead org that brings us all together is Resounding Joy, and I can't tell you how much we love them personally. They've been popping up in my life years before we've had the opportunity to work with them. They do musical programs, music therapy programs, and most importantly, programs with the veteran community with all of this new exciting science, because science is still a thing, of how traumatic brain injury responds so well to music programming, but I don't want to get it wrong, so I will allow them to speak for themselves. Give it for Barbara. else to say you said it all <laughs> yeah you got it right yeah hi my name is Barbara Royer and I'm the CEO and founder of resounding joy and we are primarily a music therapy organization we provide uh, the spectrum though from recreational to supportive to music therapy all kinds of ways uh, to engage we have uh, pro other programs besides our military program we serve uh, children that are hospitalized and, and children that are medically fragile homebound um, and we also serve the seniors, uh, those with dementia. And we have a variety, variety of community programs we provide. Uh, one of our bigger programs, though, is the Semper Sound program. Good name, right? right. <laughs> and uh, there we uh, go to all the bases, provide services. But we also provide services in our community. We provide lessons. Uh, we have families that come in for lessons, uh, military families. And uh, so just if you're interested in music or if you're afraid of music but you'd like to experience music, music uh, just look us up and let us know that you're interested and we'll make it easy for you. It's a pleasure to be a part of this, uh, uh, this coalition of creative forces. So please come to our events. You're here tonight. Uh, Steve is going to talk about his event and then our culminating event will be June 21st at uh, Veterans War, War Memorial at Belleville Park. And so put that on your calendar as well. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. So Barbara took that off. So the next event next month is going to be uh, vetarts.org. And uh, 
they do an incredible work. They do work that I really want to get done with the bronze casting, and I'll let them tell you about it. But also, I want to just introduce him personally as somebody who's so warm and wonderful in the community. I always like to think of Steve as the dad everybody wished they'd had, but oh ended God. up joining the military because they didn't. <laughs> Give it up for Steve. <laughs> appreciate the fact that you refer to me as a dad. <laughs> Just don't call me daddy, Justin. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's for another spoken yeah. word, All right? Hey, man, I'm happy to be here. Um, Veterans Art Project is a program we're running, and I had this kind of crazy idea that I thought that uh, I drive a Volkswagen van, I have a ponytail, and I have a peace sign on it, so I'd like to drive on the Pendleton and, and tell people, hey, why don't you come and do some ceramic classes with me? You know, and this is 2008, 2009, and people were very nice, but they would say, you know, the exit to the base is over there, you hippie. You know, so but anyways, it's grown and become something. And um, we started with the bronze casting, so we are offering classes uh, with the Intrepid uh, uh, Center of Excellence on base. And we do bronze casting with bells. People come in. They, um, most of the first days, these are, you know, the guys come in and they're like, and by the time they put on the proximity gear and pour the bronze, right, they're like, man, that was awesome! <laughs> you know? So, um, but anyways, it's about 3D art making in a community, and it's fun. And we are going to have an event on May 11th at our Vista location. We do ceramics and glass there. Um, all our classes are free, veterans, active duty, spouses, dependents, right? So we'd like to engage the community. I know we're in South County, and when you say Vista, people go, oh, it's like Sacramento, you know? So, you know, but, you know, what, you know, I'd like to give you the opportunity and the invitation to come up and check it out. All right. Thanks, Justin. All right, and the last org I want you all to hear from before uh, our vet writers take the stage is uh, Combat Arts. Uh, it's the visual art wing. I like to think of them as the, the ebony to our ivory or whatever they are. You're definitely more cool than we are, so whatever. Uh, my friend Elizabeth Washburn has been a steadfast ally for us for a long time. She couldn't make it here tonight, but she introduced me to this guy who, uh, through trials and tribulations, is one of my brothers, ride or die. So on behalf of Combat Arts, I'd like to introduce you to Dan Lopez. Don't forget him. He's a legend. All right, I'm going to tell you guys right now, if you guys get offended by cuss words, cover your ears. I don't give a shit. <laughs> okay, so straight up, uh, the reason why I'm here, resounding joy, bad art, you got, so say we all, everybody, combat arts, all right, I've been through the ringer with this, with these teams, all right, I was 0311, combat vet, I got a purple heart, I, I've been through the grinder, all right, and then going through these things, I did 12 years in the Marine Corps, I joined in 03, early Iraq, and I mean, that's back when it was a blender, man, you saw everything, like, everything that you think might see times it by 10 and yeah that's what i saw all right that's how it is these organizations that i went through that took care of us the only reason why i'm here is because they're the solid ones all right there's thousands and thousands i mean you throw a rock and you hit one of these damn gosh damn one of these uh non-profits that say they're here helping out the vets they can kiss my ass straight up <laughs> i don't give a damn who they think they are or what they're doing all right i've worked with service dogs i've done things and I've seen a lot of folks, and I've seen a lot of brothers go in and out, a lot of sisters go in and out, and I've seen a lot of folks not get helped. These organizations that I'm here representing today are solid. They're solid, and they're solid, man. They, they do what they mean, and they do what they say. They don't bullshit around. The, the folks that are here, I mean, Justin, Jennifer, goddamn, goddamn everybody, dude. A lot of you folks, I mean, you got Vedar. I mean, they come in. I mean, Rizan and Joy, uh, Hannah Bronson. She took care of me, man. Like, we used to get in guitar circles and just do all kinds of hippie shit, man. I was all about it. <laughs> all about it. All right, I'm just straight up. So, what I'm telling you guys, you guys that showed up here today, please tell somebody else. Tell your friends and tell them and hold them accountable and say, hey, tell another person. And if they don't tell somebody, hey, knock them upside the head and tell them to tell another person. All right. 
I thank you guys so much for coming here tonight. Seriously, thank you so much. Like, this is the, you know that, like, that empty thank you for our service bullshit that I always hear? <laughs> this is the best way you can say thank you for our service. All right, this is the best way you guys can do it. So the fact that you guys came here tonight, it means so much to me and so much to the rest of my brothers that are here. And sisters and everybody else and everybody is dancing. So you guys, thank you. All right, so Combat Arts, Elizabeth Washburn, remember her name. She's gangster, all right? <laughs> Dan Lopez. I think that guy's gonna marry me one day. How about that? <laughs> <laughs>